Hello everyone, Flutter here, and today let's make you a master of text field border colors. So what we have here is literally just a text field and then a row with two buttons. Now if I wanted to unfocus from a text field, all I gotta do is press this button and it does not focus. but I thought it was a good opportunity to show you guys how you could do it on a button as well, if you ever need it. So if I click here and then I click unfocus, it will unfocus. And the submit button will come in at a different part of the video up ahead. But let's get started. Right now we have the default text field and all we need to do to change it is simply add an input decoration class and then use the border property which can take an outline input border and what can we do here we can give it a border side which is exactly what we wanted and this property takes a border side class and this is where you can define the color for example let's make it pink that's going to change it as you can see it's already boarded up but it's not pink now is it and if i do this and i give it a bigger width it also doesn't change which is very strange and i click it and that's the default color so so far nothing is working but if you come here and you use the other property border radius and you give it border radius dot circular i say 20 and then you save then it finally has an impact but the color doesn't work and that's mostly why people have trouble with the text field colors because this should logically give you a color but it doesn't so this is pretty pointless what you need to do in text fields you need to specify the border you want to change based on its state and it's very simple if you press Control space and you type in border it will show you all the border properties that input decoration holds and by the name you can pretty much figure out what each one of them does but i will change all of them so you can see them at work so let's start with the enabled border because that's this one right here. Enabled means that it's an enabled text field rather than a disabled text field. The same thing goes here, outline input border. And here, if you do border side and then border side again, and this time you apply a color, it actually will work. Let's give it colors.green. I'm gonna save it and this time it will change. And did you see that? Did you notice how the radius disappeared? That's because once you use an enabled border, you override the regular border. So I personally don't even use this property at all because I prefer to specify the other ones. And this time, if you give it a width, it will increase like so. But that's way too much. So maybe like this, there you go. And something very important, I'm going to give it a border radius here, but you will see that if you don't apply the border radius to the other border states, that will not change it and you'll understand in just a bit i'm actually gonna make this more obvious so it's even more obvious when it changes and remember this is a property of input decoration so all these properties will be within input decoration disable border is within input decoration and i can literally just copy this place it here and change this to lime accent maybe and if i save it nothing will happen because you need to come here and disable it make this false because the default value is true now it will change and you can barely see it because this color is really ugly but if I come here and I delete it, then it goes back to true. So the enabled border gets back to action. And I'm going to delete this just so it doesn't crowd the code because the code will get crowded. But if I click this, it just loses everything. It goes back to default straight away. And in case you were wondering what the border property was for, basically if you only specify one of the border states, then the border property will pretty much set the tone for all the other ones. If we had the border property still here, like we did before, then the focused version of this text field would have a border all around. But let's specify it, shall we? It's the focused border. And let's give it the color green accents. And let me just do this real quick. Please notice how it changes. I'm gonna save it again. And now when I click, watch the border radius goes back to zero because you need to specify it in each of the states and this might sound like it gives you more work but honestly it gives you more control so i hope you don't think this sucks but let's give it back and now it goes back to being the same as the previous one and focus there it is now if i do control space again and i type in border the only remaining two states are focused error border and error border now for me to show this i'm gonna have to make this text field a text form field so that validation can come into play and i already have a form key right here and if you want to know how to validate text form fields. I will create a video in the future and I will make it show up on the top right right now. So basically now if I try to submit this while it's empty, an error will show up. And as you can see, once again, because we don't have the default border property defined, whenever it's an undefined state, it will go back to the default. 
But if I did this here very quickly, you will see that when it gets never, it keeps the shape. That's the difference. That's pretty much what this is. This is basically a fallback property. But back to what we were doing, input decoration still within it. We come here and we use the error border and let's give it a indigo color. Why not? Indigo accent sounds good to me. And I put in the border radius so it keeps its shape. And if I save it and I submit it while it's empty again, it shows the default. But that's because this is the focused error board. If I unfocus now, it's indigo. So very quickly, let's give it the other border state styling. Let's give it the color orange accent. And I'm actually going to remove this just to show you how we have full control over the shape of the text field. Now, if I come here and I submit it again, as you can see, it's orange and it's not circular. And then if I unfocus, it goes back to indigo. And at this point, you're probably asking, how do I change the text though? Because it's still red and that doesn't make any sense. So let's make it orange. And still within the input decoration, I'm actually going to put it on the top so you don't get confused. You just gotta do error style. And this would be a regular text style. You can just do what you would do to a normal text widget. Here we just would give it the same color as the error. In this case, I'm going with orange accent. And if I save it and again, make a, an error, there it is, it's the same color. And you can control the text size, everything. So now that all the colors have been defined, this is a real text field with all the colors being completely controlled by me. But as you can see, it becomes kind of a mess with so many different properties, so many different colors and different size widths, whatever. So if you wanna know how to export all of this and apply it to all your text fields, you can click the video on the top right. But something very important is that the colors that the text fields use by default are the colors of your theme. So if your theme has all of the colors well defined, then the text field will probably look exactly like you want it to. And I will make a video about themes very soon, and when I do, I will add it to the top right once again. But this is all for now. Please leave me a like so you can help my channel. Subscribe if you want to keep on learning Flutter. And goodbye for now. This is Flutter Mentor, and out.